Hey everyone, Steven here with TV Fork, and today I'm going to be taking you through the skeletal anatomy for the transverse abdominis muscle. For the transverse abdominis, there are only two areas that we need to be covering, and that is going to be the pelvis and the rib cage. At the pelvis, this right over here is your ilium, and then at the side of the ilium, we have the iliac crest, and at the most inferior aspect of the pelvis, straight down the middle, right over here is your pubic symphysis. But those are the only important landmarks worth noting at the pelvis, and now we're going to move up to the rib cage. At the rib cage, this right over here is your breastbone. At the most superior aspect, we have the manubrium. In the middle, we have the sternum, and then at the most inferior aspect we have the xiphoid process and then just lateral to that we have the coastal cartilages and that is what connects the ribs to the breastbone but for this part right over here the only important coastal cartilages worth noting are that of ribs 7 8 9 and 10 but those are the only important bony landmarks when discussing the transverse abdominis and then tomorrow i'm going to be taking you through the muscular anatomy for the transverse abdominis muscle so be on the lookout for that tomorrow at 8 p.m